Sanofi Pasteur and Vaxer present Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and MVM Associates present the 6th Annual Great Valley Technology Alliance Business Plan Competition. How would you characterize an organization whose goal is economic development and investment in human potential? A unique idea. A great team of people. Something that is valuable to people in the community. Which adjectives describe an alliance that ignites optimism and actualizes real change? Very beneficial. Realistic, substantial. Definitely exciting. Worthwhile. What do you call a nonprofit group who injects startup companies with capital and the power to succeed? Great Valley Technology Alliance. Great Valley Technology Alliance. The Great Valley Technology Alliance. Since 2002, the Great Valley Business Plan Competition has provided talented entrepreneurs with the means and inspiration to launch their technology-based businesses in Northeast Pennsylvania. Each year, the business plan participants amaze the competition judges with their innovative business ideas. But last year's competition was truly unique. The business plan submissions were so exceptional and the ideas so creative that the judges allowed seven teams to compete in the finals instead of the usual five. In the end, the team that demonstrated true entrepreneurial passion and firm knowledge of their space was Certificates.com. Tonight, we gather to applaud the GVTA's successes as well as offer support to the startup companies who are emerging as a result of this year's competition. Let's take a look at the five finalists. Basically what ClickCards.com is, is a membership program that uh, gets rid of everyday coupons. Instead of filing, clipping out coupons and storing them, bringing them to a store, we replace that with one uh, membership card that you can bring into uh, participating businesses. As a result, that helps consumers save money on everyday purchases and it helps businesses actually increase traffic into their storefront. ClickCards.com is an exciting opportunity. Um, what we're doing is revolutionizing the coupon industry, um, eliminating the need for a coupon. Uh, our customers are primarily the younger generation of consumers. When I say younger, I, I am specifically talking about the 22 to 30 year old range. Uh, these customers are more tech savvy and uh, find coupons to be an inconvenience and are looking for an alternative way to save money and we offer that to them. Our competitive advantage lies in the technology that we uh, are implementing. Not only do we have an effective website, but we have technology that is going to be able to track consumer behavior, which will act as a valuable asset to local businesses as well as consumers. I actually found out the competition uh, from the University of Scranton. There was a professor um, who had recommended um, the competition for us, and it's just been an absolute great experience um, and something that we'll take with me always. Actually, um, this whole preparation actually started on the beaches of Aruba um, in January as we're sitting there um, in the white sand and we're actually starting to write our business plan and coming up with this concept. Um, so it's been a, um, a long couple months where we've actually now, I think, have this plan in the right place and we're now ready to go forward with it. The competition has been an, an unbelievable experience. Uh, it's always been a dream of mine to start my own business, but I never thought that I'd be a, a sophomore in college and realistically thinking about starting my own business. It's, it's truly a great experience. Well, next, we're going to start working on our business requirements, start the de design phase, and then go forward. Um, after we start, after we complete the development piece of it, we're now ready to go ahead and release this to um, a mass market and ready to go forward. So that funding would definitely help. So many times we were asked why two guys would go into the coupon industry and uh, quite frankly we answered it because of uh, our mother. Our mother is a huge fan of coupons and, and quite frankly we find coupons to be an inconvenience and with seeing our mom use coupons day in and day out we think there's a better way of doing it and that's why we started ClickCards.com. So thank you mom for the business idea. Our company is called Freybug Incorporated. We're offering a product called Aquapow, which is for dogs and cats. You pour it in their water. It's a powdered formula, and it gives them nutrients and vitamins that they don't get from ordinary pet food. 
Our customers are dog and cat owners who are really concerned about prolonging their pets' lives and this product is going to offer all kinds of nutritional benefits for them in order for their pets to be as healthy as possible. And really when our customers are with their pets, if their pet is happy, then they're going to be happy and that's really the need that we're fulfilling. We offer the Aquapel product in a dissolvable powder format which is really convenient and there really aren't any other competitors out there right now that offer the same kind of convenient disposal that we do. When we saw my dog drinking apple juice, my sister went in to see if she had water in her bowl. She was going to fill the water because she thought she was very thirsty, but her water bowl was full. So we were thinking about it and we were wondering why she wouldn't drink her water, but she would drink the apple juice. And out of everything that they have for pets these days, we realized that they really don't have anything with flavor for water for pets. So then we developed the idea and changed it into something that would be healthy for your pet, and that's how we came up with it. We found out about the business plan competition through the Entrepreneurial Institute competition. I received an email, I think because I'm in business club at the University of Scranton, saying if anyone had any ideas for businesses or products that there's going to be a competition. So we participated in that one and we ended up coming in first place and they encouraged us to participate in this competition. The preparation for the competition was intense to say the least. We basically worked on it every night. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of hard work, it was the death of us sometimes, but we're so happy that we did it, and we're so happy that it's over, but <laughs> it was great to do. If you're a student considering competing next year, I would recommend that you get as much sleep as possible this summer and next fall semester because you're certainly not going to get it in the spring. I see us breaking a profit the third year, and eventually we will go public. I think we're really going to succeed. Music is a full service social media solution. What that basically means to most people is that we develop Facebook and MySpace applications and hopefully they're what you're using on Facebook and MySpace now. So pretty much you can leverage Facebook's enormous user base and the, the set of tools that they provide to create uh, websites on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way to explain that. We create applications and design it in a way that, so that we can reuse everything that we have ever made to then use in future projects without spending extra development time or cost. Music aims mainly at mid-sized enterprise level uh, companies. Hopefully their needs are to reach users either for geotargeting reasons or advertising getting a product out. Uh, basically, since we could grab the full resources of Facebook and MySpace, we could get right into the user and let them really feel and play around with the product rather than just present it to them. So hopefully these companies want that type of interaction with their customers and that seems to be the way that the internet's leading. It's all about communication and interaction. So we provide that for companies to the user. Music is a full solution company, which means not only do we develop this product for our customer, we also handle hosting, marketing, analytics, uh, from conception to deployment, we handle everything. While I was a freshman at Penn State Hazleton, I learned about this competition and I wanted to participate uh, really bad, but I just didn't have a team to uh, get in on it. But this year, uh, we have a full strength team to you know, blow some competition out of the water. So uh, that's how we got involved this year. I like the competition a lot. I think the GVTA did a great job with it. It really opens up doors for young people who are really ambitious but really don't have a place to go. We utilized the help sessions to kind of see an insight into the competition that allowed us to actually be prepared for what's going to come. We also relied on the resources of our friends and family to help us along with the task. We're going to hit it off as a multi-million dollar company. You'll see us as one of the largest social application development companies in the nation and hopefully we'll be on the covers of some kind of you know business magazine and you'll see us on there. After this I see the company still continuing to grow, get better, move into office space somewhere and hopefully become part of your lives by being applications that you use every day and you like. Our company Vocamation is geared toward voice activated assisted living products to assist the elderly and the handicapped in everyday tasks. Uh, we're going to start off with the Sinatra remote control, our initial product offering to 
pretty much get our feet wet in the market and if this is successful hopefully expand into, into other things. Our customers would be the aging and disabled population. Uh, right now we're just looking at the local area. Eventually we plan on expanding to nationwide, but right now because it's such a, a broad idea, we would just want to focus it small and start small in this area. Sometimes your grandmother will call and she won't know what button to use for the VCR or the DVD player. There's all these buttons. You've got your universal remote controls that are used for everything, when really we just need one simplistic thing that works for everything. Well, our our remote control is voice activated, so pretty much we're going to try to eliminate all of the confusion that's, uh, that comes with one of those universal remote controls. One of the other competitive advantages that we have is most of the products out there are currently made with uh, different types of materials, uh, polymers that are carcinogenics right now, and with everything going green, we've been able to investigate and find uh, materials out there that are eco-friendly and hoping, hopefully we'll be able to use something to make this that you can buy, it's biodegradable, so it's good for the earth. As a member of the business club at Luzerne County Community College, our, our advisor, Lori Majors, was telling us about this and she was so excited about it. It sounded like a lot of fun. When you go into this competition and you, you, you don't really know how far you're gonna get with it, but they really uh, build you up and tell you, kind of give you a spirit of like, you can do this. And so I, I just think it was a wonderful opportunity for anyone and everyone that, that attended it. It really prepares you to see what really goes on. Next year's contestants should really be prepared to be really motivated in their presentations and really make uh, an impression on the judges. So you really just want to be personable and not be nervous and just get out there, do your thing, know what you're talking about, be familiar with your, your information. I went to high school up in Susquehanna County and I, I came down to Luzerne County and throughout the whole thing um, there's only a couple programs where you find uh, leadership skills or entrepreneurship skills and I think this was a great way of getting college students together. After the competition we hope that this comes to light and actually becomes something. The competition, winning the competition would just take us that much closer to our goal which is to successfully create this company. I think that this opportunity kind of shows that it doesn't matter who you are or your background, how old or how young you are. Uh, there is no limits. The only limits are those that you put on yourself.